Now think of all the paper products around your home or your office. Fortress Paper specializes in the kind of paper that you'd like to put in your pocket. They make the paper that some money is printed on. Chad Wazalenkov, he is the CEO of Fortress Paper and he is our guest. Chad, good to have you with us. Thanks so much for, for coming in. Great to be here. Explain a little bit about, you know, because everyone talks about Visa, MasterCard, and then we're all going electronic, but there's still a lot of paper money in the world, right? Absolutely. Uh, we don't know of a single country where currency use is declining. Around the world, it's typically averaging about 3, three to 4% growth. 3 or 4% growth for the use of paper money. Correct. So what are the big issues? I mean, is it really just all around counterfeiting or does durability come into it? Uh, both are a factor. Uh, the most important thing is security, trying to deter the counterfeiters. A typical banknote can cost anywhere from 8 to 10 cents to manufacture. That's what the national banks pay for, a fully printed and finished banknote. Yet it can have an inherent value of $1,000. Again, the, the difference is the trust that is placed in the government. So if the counterfeiters can start replicating the bill, they lose that trust, the economy slows down, becomes a very big problem. Where is uh, most of the counterfeiting uh, taking place? Uh, and I, don't, I, I mean, let's just say for the U.S. dollar, is it ta does it take place in the United States or is it offshore? Uh, probably about 75 to 80 percent of counterfeiting in the U.S. is done domestically. Uh, there is some being done in South America where they're taking one dollar U.S. bills and it's on genuine real currency. It has a watermark uh, and then they're bleaching it out and putting the 20 or the hundred dollar denomination on it. There's also uh, industry speculation. There is a super note that's being generated in North Korea where they have commercial operations and they're churning out the hundred dollar U.S. bill. And they're basically printing what the Federal Reserve prints. Exactly. Very high quality bank. Don't Talk, you? if you can, a, a little bit about uh, the work that you're doing, because I know that, for example, you print euro notes, at least for some European countries, but you know, you're know you not even allowed to tell us which countries you, you print them for, right? Correct. We're the sole papermaker for the Swiss franc, which is widely regarded as the industry standard. More security features than any other bank note in the world. We also make the euro for 10 different countries, but again, I can't specify which ones. What, the, what are some of the security features that you've got built into, let's say, the Swiss franc? Uh, the Swiss franc, depending on the denomination, has around 36 different security features in the banknote. More than half of those are done at the paper mill and by our, our staff there. Some of the traditional ones are the watermark. When you hold a banknote up to the light, you see the portrait image of a president or uh, whatever figure that particular country decides to put on the bill. We put the foils, we put the threads into the bill. Uh, and several other covert features that uh, we're not able to discuss. All right, then if you can, discuss this, because I've got this in my hand. Now, you say this is something that's, a, in a way, a revolution because it is a cotton uh, paper base, but it's, uh, well, you can see through it. It's transparent. Correct. Uh, most national banks are looking for level one security features, something that's very easily recognizable at the retail level, yet very, very difficult to counterfeit or replicate. So it's taken seven years to design and develop this new banknote substrate. It was done in partnership with the Swiss National Bank. What we've done is take two very, very thin sheets of banknote paper, all the same traditional uh, features you would find in a banknote. Then we cut holes in it, and then right before we bond it together, we put a molten polymer layer in the middle. So this allows for transparent windows anywhere on the bill, and it more than doubles the durability of the bill. And the third feature is it improves the printability of the bill. So it, so, it, so it has a lot of other sort of utilitarian aspects to it, not just the security. Absolutely. Talk, if you can, about the company, about uh, Fortress Paper now, because you say that uh, a lot of people are not interested. They don't think that maybe investing in a paper company is, is sexy. Yeah. You've got a paper mill. Start with the one in, in Germany. What are you doing there? Uh, our mill in Germany, we make a specialized non-woven wallpaper. For the first time ever, you can now dry strip wallpaper. You never have to fight with taking it off in several little different pieces and parts. Uh, this is sort of revolutionizing the wallpaper industry, which is very mature and not growing overall. But within that, the non-woven sector is growing at about 15 to 20 percent per year. And we represent 50 percent of the global production of non-woven wallpaper because we're the lowest cost producer. All right, lowest cost producer when it comes to that in, in Germany and, and right. the German mill. What about in Switzerland? I know you've got a mill there. You're, you're really ramping up capacity. Absolutely. Our Swiss mill has the opposite challenge. We have older equipment, uh, less efficient equipment. We make one sheet of banknote at a time with very large trim widths because of the change of the size of a banknote sheet. Uh, so because of that, we have about 40% waste, but we're still able to generate a profit. Our new machine, which comes online in about 12 or 13 months, will be a triple width machine, incredibly efficient. We'll, uh, we'll be able to also reduce our, reduce our employment requirements at the same time. Talk, if you can, about what's going on uh, in this whole idea of uh, paper sizes, because uh, you know the United States, one paper size for the currency 
in most other countries, they have different paper sizes, so you can actually tell what the denomination is without even looking at it. And each, any, why is that? Uh, it is country by country. They obviously choose their own requirements, different security features. One of those different security features being the different size of the banknote. So if the U.S. were to implement that, uh, again, obviously now they wouldn't be able to bleach out a $1 bill and right. make it a $100 bill. Poses a real challenge, though, in processing the banknotes and ATM machines and things like that. So there's a lot right. more to consider. All right. I want to thank you very much, uh, Chad Wazalenkov, coming in as CEO of Fortress Paper, sharing a really some insight into what's going on in the world of uh, printing money.